What's up you guys, it's your girl Ryan Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing um, an updated video on how I liked um, derma planning, which is basically shaving my face. If you guys did not see that video, I will have it linked above in the cards. But yeah, if you are new, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and hit that post notification bell so you know when I post new videos. But I really just wanna get right into this video, so let's get it started. So just a side note, if you're wondering why my hair is super big, um, I'm going to be styling my hair right after this video. So I decided to blow my hair out. So if you wanna see how I transform this hair, then definitely click the cards above and you'll be brought to the video showing you guys what I ended up doing. But anywho, I um, just wanted to come on here quickly and update you so um, a lot of you guys were asking questions and I was like you know even though I did answer them individually I figured I would come on here and just um, shed some light on how my experience was would I do it again etc etc so the first question that I'm gonna answer is what did it feel like so I did say in the video that my skin did not feel very irritated on a scale of 1 to 10 it was about a level 4 a 4 or 5 I think the reason why my skin get, did get a little bit irritated was because I ended up going in multiple directions and I was going over the same spots more than once so that is definitely um, something that I experienced other than that there was no sort of discomfort or Actually, I did have a little bit of burning, but that's because I nicked myself like in two places. But that was about it. There was no real huge irritation. So that was good to know, especially because I do have eczema prone skin. I did think that um, it would have been more irritated, but it was not. Somebody asked, is this something that you can do the same day? Like say you want to beat your face or you want to go somewhere and you decide you wanted to shave your face and go out. For me personally, I wouldn't I wouldn't shave your face or derma plan for the first time and go out simply because everyone's skin is different and it I didn't react to it but perhaps you might and like no one wants to be going out with their face red or if your face get, gets inflamed or anything like that so I would suggest not um, doing this for the first time and then planning to go somewhere I think you know try it beforehand see how it works for you and then based on that, you can make your judgment if it's something you want to do before an event or something like that. So the other thing you guys asked about was aftercare. So what exactly did I do after I shaved my face? So you will see in the video that I did um, some skincare beforehand. And afterwards, I basically cleansed with my African black soap. After that, I did tone with um, some witch hazel. And then I put like a really... A really hot cloth on my face and that just helped to soothe my face and um, I guess I like, bring some moisture back into it then I went in with um, a moisturizer as I use a vitamin C balm so all of those steps probably helped to soothe my skin and alleviate any sort of itchiness that I would have had afterwards the only things that I probably would have done differently was not put as much coconut oil on my face and also as I said earlier not have gone in different directions on my face and not have gone over the same spots more than once so I think that would help to alleviate some of the irritation but again it was not anything like extensive it was it was definitely bearable um what else oh i would definitely go a little bit slower because um at first i think i was going a little bit too fast which is why i ended up cutting my face i think that's about it the oh oh the only thing i will say is that my skin did um just so like or i think it was around here and here i did have some dry patches but again it didn't last very long. I just kept up with my skincare routine and it was really back to normal um, with, as I said, within like two days. But I do believe that th those are the spots that I went over a lot. So definitely be mindful of that. You're not just scraping off the hair. You're also taking off layers of, of skin off, your, off of your face. So um, yeah, the more you brush it on your skin, it's definitely irritating your skin. It's been about a week and a half since I have shaved my face. I didn't see like my hair growing back any thicker or anything like that. It did start growing back, but it's very fine. 
Um, it's not like when your hair, when you shave your legs or anything and you feel the stubbles. I don't feel, I don't feel any crazy stubbles or anything. If you're really into makeup, I do highly suggest you do this. And if you just want to get the excess hair off of your face, I also highly suggest that you try it. Another question was what razors do I use and do you have to get a specifically do you have to specifically get a derma planning raise or can you just use one of those eyebrow razors you really can use any any razor um I got mine from Amazon and I will try to link it if I remember in the description box down below mine was I believe it was a nine pack and I paid it was less than fifteen dollars I believe but as I said, you can really use any of those types of razors. It does not have to specifically say that it's for derma planning. They're basically all the same. Some may be a little bit sharper than others, but you really can get by with a generic brand. So yeah, you guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Toodles!